Let's create a storyboard so that we can export out an animation of a car driving along our design road. I'm going to select the storyboard creator and give our storyboard a name. I'm going to call this Drive the Road. And then I'm going to create a new camera path animation from the design road. With that command selected, I'm going to pick my design road. And I'm going to set some offsets for my camera position. I'm going to set a 5 foot horizontal offset and a 6 foot vertical offset. This is going to simulate uh, sitting in the driver's seat of a car as it drives down the road. I'm going to set my drive speed to 75 miles per hour in the interest of time. And then we'll speed that up a little bit. And you'll see that InfraWorks thinks for a minute, and then it puts the animation out to the storyboard. We can hit the play button, and we can drive along our road and view the animation. You can see my yellow lines depict the right-of-way. I can see my cut and my fill areas very well as we travel down our design road, and we come to the end. Now that we're at the end, I want to illustrate there's a new development going on along this road. Uh, you can see it there to the right. I have a new subdivision going in. And I would like to add a, a caption to my video that depicts what this development is. So I'm going to create a caption for it. I'm going to drag my caption to the point in the timeline where I want to display it. And there we go, right where my playhead is. I'm going to stick it there. And then I will enter a caption, new subdivision on right. Now this is set to fade in as I approach it. And then it will fade out as I drive away from it. Let's Back the playhead up just a little bit and let's see how this plays. Here we go, just like it's supposed to. It fades in and fades out and looks really nice. Now I'm going to drag the playhead away. I want to go to the end and add a couple of different animations. Let's go in and add a zoom animation at the end. Let's take a look at what that will look like. And we're going to transition with a cut. Uh, we want to actually start where, uh, where we're sitting right now and zoom out from that spot. And then we pick a zoom distance, we'll leave it as it is, at 52 feet. I might increase it a little bit. Let's go 300 feet so we can zoom out nicely. Now let's hit play and see that zoom animation once I start here. Get to the end there and then zoom right back out and you can see a really good view of the end of the road there. Going to go in and add a crane animation. Let's see how that will look. We can crane up or down and then distance up and back and left if needed. This gives us some nice cinematic effects. Let's go ahead and delete that animation. It was picking up on the end of that animation for the start here, end here. And uh, we're going to end here. So let's see what this looks like. Not exactly what I would like it to. It started out underneath. That's because we did the end here. But if we do a start here, then it'll look a good bit better. There we go.
All right, now that we're up here in the sky looking at the end of our road, we can add a look around. I'm going to look 45 degrees to my left. And then I will add another. This one's going to be slightly different. Instead of looking 45 degrees to my right, which takes me back to my baseline position, I'm going to look around 90 degrees to my right, which takes me 45 degrees in the opposite direction. We can export this storyboard as a JSON file. If we want to use uh, embed this in a website, we have we can have multiple storyboards uh, in a given model. But I'm going to export this storyboard to an uncompressed video file. Uh, we'll select. Uh, Let's go back and change that to uncompressed. It's always best to process after it's produced. I'll use the viewport resolution, which is the resolution of this video. And then all I have to do is pick a location and give it a name. And click OK. And then we're exporting our video. This is a fairly short video. It doesn't take that long to export it. And with it exported, we'll have an AVI file that we can view in Media Player later on.